My name is Anthony Williams and today we're going to talk about the light reaction and the Calvin cycle. Now within the light reaction that is basically photosynthesis and that is H2O and light which enters the thacklo membrane and that thacklo membrane goes into the thacklo space in the chlorophyll. Now within the chlorophyll the photosystem 2 captures light in the reaction center. Now, it goes into the oxygen evolving complex which transfers electrons using Plato cyanin to create hydrogen bonds. After that has occurred, photosystem 1 and NADPH turn goes into two different areas which is the thacko which expels O2 oxygen and cytochrome B6F complex which transfers electrons from the Plato cyanin to the Plato quinine. Now, the place of quantity reduces NADPH for transport to the Calvin cycle, and the NADPH and ATP transfer from the thacoid chloroplast to the stroma where a Calvin cycle occurs, which is way over here. Now, within the Calvin cycle, that is light independent, which means that light is not required for the reaction to occur. Now, within the Ruby P chloroplast oxygenase, it fixes carbon dioxide CO2 to be used in the reaction which creates 3 phospholiglycerate and that breaks down it is broken down to make glycerohyde 3 phosphate now after that has occurred it makes starch and amine which is fatty acid and the starch and amine those occur like inside of the cell and the glucose it is exported out of the, outside of the cell to be used in the plant. Now, the other part is the ferrodoxin NADP, which is reduced to make NADPH. And the NADPH with the ATP phosphate, it is transported back to the thacoid membrane for light reaction to continue, which is over here. And it's basically making it's like basically going back and forth like an infinity sign. So that's basically it for the light reaction in the Calvin cycle. My name is Anthony Williams again and have a good day.